Hello children. Today I am visiting my parents at my parents' house and so I am bringing to you a book from their bookshelf. It's called Out of Wonder and it's a really cool book. It's Poems Celebrating Poets and it's by Kwame Alexander and it's illustrated by Ekua Holmes. And I wonder if you have ever thought about what a poem is. A poem, most of the time, is a short um, piece of writing. It's not really a story, but it's not really not a story. It tells of people's emotions and people's situations. And there's Poe saying hi. Um, and so I wanted to start off, I'll read you a few poems. The first one is going to be called How to Write a Poem. So that would give us some ideas. How to Write a Poem. Celebrating Naomi Shihab Nye. Now I'm going to show you these pictures because they're beautiful. But this is the poem. It says, hush, grab a pencil, some paper, Spunk, let loose your heart, raise your voice. What if I have many voices? Let them dance together, twist and turn like best friends in a maze till you find your way to that one true word or two. Okay, and so this is how to write a poem. Let them Dance like best friends. Let all your words and all your voices dance. Isn't that awesome? Okay. The next one I'm going to read. Ooh, is called A Field of Roses. And here's the picture. Isn't that cool? A Field of Roses. Celebrating Emily Dickinson. I keep an old verse in my room that says believing in roses makes them bloom. I know enough of life's toil to say that it also takes rich, fertile soil, lots of good old fashioned care and rain to make roses blossom in air. Here a beautiful red field grows. I'd say the loveliest anyone knows. See? Beautiful, beautiful roses. Okay, the next one is on the next page here, the blue alphabet. See, here's paint, paint in a paint um, thing and a blue paintbrush. And it says, the blue alphabet celebrating Terrence Hayes. Make a paint box out of letters and water and dip your brush Swirl it on the paper with style while you are humming a tune, smiling or standing still, waiting for the school bus. You can dazzle your friends with the words you have made and strung together like beads around your neck. <laughs> All of these are about how wonderful language is. And when we speak and we write language, it can dance and move and create art. Um, this is one that I wanted to show you because I love the beautiful picture. See, it's a lady and she's pray. It looks like she's praying and there's all kinds of creatures and birds and fish in the air. It looks like she's thinking about all of them. Maybe they're not fish. They're all kinds of birds, but I just see the fish because that's what my brain says. Okay. This is called Loving the World and Everything in It, Celebrating Mary Oliver. Each day I walk out onto the damp grass before the sun has spoken because I love the world and the miracle of morning. I love to stand beside the old oak trees beneath the symphony of bird song and listen to every perfect note. While the wind passes around me like a warm sea, sometimes a feather drifts down into my hands. I hold it and I imagine flying. See, she's holding the feather and imagining how what it would be like to fly like a bird. 
I feel that way sometimes too. Okay, this is the last one I'll share with you. This one is called For Our Children's Children, celebrating Chief Dan George. And the painting is beautiful, see? It's like people in the woods. And here's a stream. And there's some kind of animal over there. What is that animal? I think it's a bunny. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, this is called For Our Children's Children. Greet the new day like a stranger, entering it for the first time. Here, I'll see if I can read like this. Listen to the rivers, the raven's song, the woodpecker's knock, and your beating heart. Walk softly, mind the leaves dancing in shaky hands of an old maple. Let the shadows of drifting clouds warm your cheek and whisper softly, Share the earth with all creatures. Love them and they will love you back. Amen. That's a wonderful poem. So I am glad to share this book of poetry with you today, uh, Out of Wonder. And uh, it is uh, one of the ways that we can write and we can share our thoughts and ideas with others. So I wonder if you have written any poems. If you have, you can certainly um, you know, share them with your friends, share them with your parents, share them with your grandparents, share them with your me, uh, and uh, we will share our poems together. Okay? Have a wonderful day, children. Bye-bye.